is Sandy from BS Demonstrators. You can find me at bsdemonstrators.ca, which will include links to my Twitter and Facebook page as well. The purpose of this video is to provide you with a list of all of the supplies that you will need in order to complete this 4x4 mini scrapbook, which I will be demoing on Ustream on Tuesday, January 22nd, 2012 at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time. Feel free to change any of the materials to be ones that you already have on stock. This mini scrapbook uses the designer paper pack Comfort Cafe. However, on Tuesday, I will be using Orchard Harvest instead. But again, feel free to use all of the, or any designer paper pack that you have on hand. Now, we won't be using the entire designer paper pack. In fact, we'll actually only be using five sheets out of it. The nice thing about this is that you can use five sheets for this mini scrapbook. You can use five sheets for another mini scrapbook. And then I've also got one sheet wonders that require the use of one sheet of designer paper in order to make 12 cards. So, out of one pack of designer paper, you can make two 4x4 four four mini scrapbooks as well as 24 cards. What a value for your money, right? Okay, so let's take a look at what you need in order to make this scrapbook. Now, when you're cutting your designer paper, make sure to keep all the little leftover pieces because you can use them for making little tabs like this, little booklets, little journaling spots. As well, even if you have those long little strips that don't seem to be of use for anything, like this one, keep it anyways, because I like to make cards like this out of all of my stripped paper. So I just keep it in a bucket, and then when I've got some time, then I will pick out colors out of the color scheme and throw together another card like this. So a way to use up those scraps, help save the environment a little bit, and have some fun with it. All right, here we go. So with the designer paper, you want to have, pick your piece that will be your cover, and then what I did was I took the same piece, but flipped it over to use as my inside piece. Now the cover piece needs to be 11 inches across by 5 and a half inches, and your inside cover needs to be 10 inches across by 4 and a half pieces, 4 and a half inches, sorry. The next thing that you need will be 40 pieces cut to 3 and 3 quarters by 3 and 3 quarters. What I did was I cut out 10 pieces from every piece of designer paper so that I have actually 5 and 5 of each piece or whatever it works out to be for you. Then you want to take the leftover pieces and trim it down to three and three quarters by two and three quarters. You can, I cut out 20 of these. You can cut out 10. It's all up to you. Those pieces are going to cover this one. So some of my pages, I put designer paper on both front and back, and some of them I left blank so that I could do journaling. So you can start with 10 and then cut out the other 10 as you need them. And then again, any leftover pieces can be used for booklets or tags, such as this one. You will also need 10 pieces of a base of a neutral cardstock. So I'm using very vanilla because it goes with my paper, but feel free to use something like Sahara Sand or Whisper White, anything that you want to use to make your pages. So you need 10 pieces that measure out to 4 inches by 11 inches. And we'll be scoring these, so you also need a scoreboard. You will need, for the cover, chipboard. This chipboard is measured to 4 and a quarter inches by 4 and a half inches, and you'll need two pieces of that. And then this one is cut to four and a half inches by one and a half inches. If you add more pages, I've got 10 pages, but if you want to add more pages, you'll need to just make this a little bit bigger. 
um, and then adjust your cover and inside design the paper accordingly. You will need some linen thread or some kind of thick thread. This will be what we um, attach all of our pages together with. You will need your crocodile to cut through the chipboard or any kind of hole si punching system that allows you to cut through chipboard. You'll need ribbon in a color that matches your designer paper. This ribbon is used in order to decorate tags, things like that, but it also is used to bind your paper to your chipboard. Some kind of a border punch. And this was a uh, retired one from Stampin' Up, but you can use anything you want. It was used on the front cover of the, of the book. So if you want to include it, you can use any kind of a designed punch there. If not, you can change it up to whatever you want. You will need a paper piercer and a mat to pierce it with. You will need your favorite strong adhesive. You'll need some stamps. Now I'm still going to use the same one I did on the first one. Let's turn that over so that you can see it. And this is papaya collage. Um, I used it on the first one because the birds and the flowers all went nicely together and I'm still going to use it on the orchard harvest one because the apples and the corn reminds me of a farm and I used to love waking up to the sounds of the birds in the morning. So I'm going to stick with this one. You will need some rhinestone jewels and I put these on the butterflies. You will need some scissors for doing all your fussy cutting. You will need a ruler in order to do your measurements. And I think that I've covered everything on this table. So hopefully we will see you at, CF at 7 p.m. Mountain Standard Time on Tuesday, January 22nd in order to create this 4x4 scrapbook page. Feel free in the comments to throw any questions my way. If you think I've missed something or if you need clarification on any of the dimensions and whatnot. So I will see you then.